We do our planning so that we can help the kids reach the five outcomes in the Early Years Learning Framework. And we do a lot of our planning around stories and I do a lot of learning through stories. Well, it all stems from the, the children's interest and um, at the moment we're looking at the wombat stew. Wombat stew. And who are all the animals in our story? Wombat stew. We got a wombat. There's our wombat. The emu. During one of our yarning circles, one of our students got up just out of the blue and started talking about um, that her family came from Africa, um, which got all the other kids talking about where they were from. Um, some of the kids said they were from Sydney, Brisbane, Melbourne. Then I thought, well, to explore those places, we'll look at Possum Magic. And then through reading the Possum Magic book, we did all the different cookings and the kids got to taste it. Um, and then that come into the Australian animals because they were just really intrigued by the, the koalas and the, the possums and, and what better book to use than Wombat Stew. And we're going to make the Wombat Stew as we read our story. One day on the banks of a billabong, a very clever dingo caught a... What did he catch? He catched this. What is it? A wombat. Wombat. for parents because when they come in every day they're not going to actually be standing there you know when they're signing and reading my planning because it's just teaching jargon so what I did to overcome that was to um, I do a great big planning sheet just for parents you know so that they could see um, visually and just simple text so that when they walk in they can see exactly what's going on in the room and what are the children learning and and how does that actually link to learning for the children. So yeah, it's actually a communication tool for parents. So we've broken up different parts of the book um, that will fit in which, with all the five learning outcomes. So for um, to achieve children have a strong sense of identity, we looked at the animals and linked it to um, different totem areas that belong to the kids. Children are connected with and contribute to their world. We looked at doing a, a bushwalk in the community to pick up all the different items um, that made the wombat stew. For outcome five, children are effective communicators. Being able to retell the story, what's the story about, linking it to other stories maybe, um, and getting them to maybe even create their own. Gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Oh, dingo. So the process of our planning, um, we observe the kids throughout the day. In the afternoon, we'll write down stuff on everything that the kids have done. And if there's been a lot of interest, we'll extend on that. So if the, the kids were interested in the grasshoppers and the bugs, we'll go off into to looking at that. So it's always exploring the, the kids' interests. And licked his whiskers. Rightio, in they go. Okay, so we can still do bush walk. And, you know, in, with the gum nuts and stuff, like we don't have that. So you just get the kids to improvise the ingredients and then we tell them that at the end, they get to cook a proper stew. So you can relate it to home, like when cooking a stew at home with mum and dad, you know, what do we use instead of gum nuts okay. and, and leaves? All right. Well, I mean, wouldn't that be funny? The actual animals in the book, did we eat them as, as, a, as a cultural food? And using the framework allows us to really broaden our areas, I suppose, to really capture and extend. Wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy. Wombat stew.